Hi everyone, welcome to another edition of SIDS Reviews. My name is Dale, and today I got a pair of bookshelf speakers that I don't think many of you have heard of before. And uh, out of all the speakers that I reviewed this year, these ones here surprised me the most with their performance. This is a review of the German-made Audiophysic Classic 3 bookshelf speakers. Let's get into it. Okay, so Audiophysic is a speaker manufacturer that uh, designs and makes their speakers uh, handmade in Germany. Uh, these here are part of the Classic Series line of speakers, and I'll link to uh, the website below so you can check it out. And they have a whole line of uh, floor standing. Uh, these are the only bookshelf speakers they make. They also have a, uh, uh, a center channel as well for it, but they have about four or five different kinds of floor stander speakers, so make sure you check those out. But these here are the entry-level bookshelf speakers. Uh, they come in four different finishes, black ash, white satin. They have a walnut, which these are, and also a cherry finish as well. And uh, believe me, these are really nice. These are very well-made speakers. Uh, the cabinet is, uh, you know, it's constructed uh, very well. Uh, all the materials are top quality in them, and I'll be speaking more to that in a second. Uh, the specs of the unit, it is a 4-ohm speaker, so you're going to need an amplifier with a little bit of uh, current to get these going. I'm suggesting at least uh, probably about 60 watts or a little bit more. Um, so they do need a little bit of amplifier to get them going. Um, of, of current, sorry, to get them going. Uh, the sensitivity, though, of these speakers is surprisingly not too bad. So it's 89 dB. So it doesn't take um, that much, you know, volume power to really get these going and to make them sing. Um, the uh, uh, the hertz on these speakers, so these speakers can really dip down. So it goes to 45, uh, it dips down to 45 hertz, uh, but goes up to, I think, 30 kilohertz for it. Uh, the, uh, the weight of these speakers is about 7 kg each, which, you know, in North America it equates to about 15 pounds a piece. So they're very sturdy, very well made. Uh, the price of these speakers um, in Canada, they're about roughly retail for about $2,300 uh, Canadian. And in the U.S., they retail for about uh, $1,800 U.S. a pair. And I'll link a few uh, websites below where you can get these. Um, I got these uh, from uh, my friends there at Altitudo Audio, which... Uh, Pretty much every review here in the last 10 that I've done, have uh, all samples have been from them. Um, I'll link to them below as well. Um, and they provided me with these and I've been listening to them for a couple of months now. Okay, so now I'll kind of uh, go over the front of the speakers. Um, the, uh, the tweeter here is a one inch soft dome tweeter, uh, almost one inch. I think it's eight ninths of an inch or something like that. Uh, this is a six and a half inch um, glass woven fiber uh, mid woofer. And uh, there is a port, it is rear ported in the back over here. I'll show you the back of the speaker in a second. This is the, um, the grill for this. It's very well made, well constructed. However, I wish it was magnetic and not, um, uh, not pegs like these ones are, because it's a little bit finicky to put in. Not too bad, but it sits kind of like that. Doesn't look too bad, but like I said, I'd rather have magnetic speaker grills like you know most other speakers are these age. But anyway, that's the front of the speaker. Now I'm going to show you the rear. Okay, this is the rear of the Audiophysic Classic 3 speaker. As you can see, there's a little uh, rear port over there. You could um, plug it. I believe it comes with uh, foam plugs to plug it if you'd like to. Uh, just a nameplate there saying it's 4 ohms, um, signed by quality inspector, and then uh, just a uh, regular pair of, a uh, single pair of binding posts. And that's it for the back of the speaker here. Again, very well made, very well construction, constructed. The finish is... Uh, is absolutely beautiful on these speakers. You can tell there's uh, definitely a high level of quality put into these speakers. And now let's get on with the review. Okay, so let's start going over the sound of these uh, beautiful speakers, the classic uh, three speakers from Audiophysic. And uh, let's start off with the bass, because the bass really was the most surprising part of these speakers for myself anyway. Uh, for the size of these speakers, the amount of bass that this puts, uh, puts out, to me, is outstanding. Um, it, uh, it is very punchy. It is deep, uh, very fast. Um, it's a beautiful, beautiful bass sound that comes out of these speakers. Um, much punchier, much deeper 
than the other two speakers that I reviewed recently, the Kepar 3 Metas and also the Triangle Comet 40th Anniversary. Uh, those had decent bass, but nothing compared to these, especially for the size of these. These speakers really punch, like really hit hard. I was very surprised and I liked the bass on these speakers. Um, at no point did I think I needed a subwoofer with it. Obviously, if you listen to, you know, dance music or hip hop or something, you really want a good thumb, you're going to need a subwoofer. Uh, of course, that goes with any speaker. But for everyday listening for, I'd say, about 80 or 90 percent of people, you don't need a subwoofer with these. These play just beautifully as far as the bass region goes. Uh, mids on these speakers were very good as well. I thought the vocal sounded very natural. Um, it was a uh, very, very clear, comfortable sound. Um, you know, I never had anything kind of, you know, uh, you know, it kind of just got out of the way and just played the music as it was. Um, the only thing was with the tube amplifier. Now these speakers play great with any kind of you know, 60 watts and up amplifier, uh, you know, tube amplifiers are very good with it, uh, AB amplifiers, anything sounded very good with it. However, with mid-range with the tube amplifiers, it could slightly lead towards the warm side of it. So uh, if you don't like that kind of sound, like a really warm type of mid-range and stuff, then probably using a, you know, a solid state amplifier uh, class AB would probably be your best bet, um, but by no means that it, you know, was a deal breaker or anything. Vocals did sound very good with these, and uh, the mid bass punch too was very good with these speakers, um, as you can imagine, because the bass is so good on these. Um, treble to me was, you know, because of the soft tone tweeter, uh, that's the, uh, you know, the one tweeter that I think I've listened to the most with, uh, you know, reviewing most speakers that I've had. A few exceptions, but uh, the soft tone tweeter on it was very good, very pleasant, um, never kind of high or fatiguing or, you know, needing to, you know, you know any kind of sibilance or stuff like that. It, it was always controlled, very pleasant. Not the most detailed, however, you know, I think with the Kefbar 3 Metas did a better job with, uh, with details and certainly with the Triangle Combat 40 because of that horn um, uh, that horn uh, tweeter in there. I thought that those, if you wanted to, that one was, you know, really brought out all the information in the music, really refined. These were no slouch either. They just didn't have that extra level, I guess, of refinement or or uh, or for trebles, like gathering all the information that you would need. But never did I think that it was missing anything either. So to me, you know, it never brought attention to itself. So it was very nice for what I heard, and I enjoyed the treble on these speakers. It was it was that good. Um, soundstage and imaging, very good on these speakers. Perhaps not quite as good as like the Kef R3 Meta that really projected a really wide soundstage and was really kind of holographic. These did a good job of it. Not quite to that level, though, but uh, I think for most people, it would be very pleasant. And, you know, that experience was still there, just not at that same level as like the Kef R3 Metas. Same too with the Triangle Comets. I think they did a little bit better with like instrument separation and stuff compared to these. Not that these are slacking in any way. Uh, it's just not quite at that level. That's not um, exactly their strength. To me, these are kind of speakers that uh, you pick up, uh, you uh, you know you set them up and you just forget about it. It plays everything really really good. You know there's no kind of loss of anything. If you really want something that really gives every last detail of information, perhaps these quite aren't the speakers for that. Or if you want something that gives a really wide sound stage, perhaps these aren't the speakers for that. But for what it does, it does everything really well. Um, you know I I really enjoyed my time with these speakers and I think the overall sound to me, really fits the tone that I like in speakers that I've used before and heard before. Okay, so what are my final thoughts on these speakers? Well, I've kept these speakers the longest and there's a reason for that. I couldn't put these speakers away. Um, to me, I always wanted to hear, you know, what my music would sound like because I've heard, you know, certain records that I've heard a hundred times before. What does it sound like with these? So, you know, I put it on, I played some, a lot of vinyl with it, a lot of digital music with it. Um, I use about three or four different amplifiers with them. It sounded great with everything. And I always came back to it, even when I was doing a review of the Kefar 3 Meta of the Triangle 40th Comets. These speakers here were always the ones that, oh, I can't wait to get those things back on. They just surprised me more. You know, they're not the biggest speakers. They don't throw out the biggest sound stage or anything. You'll probably get a bigger sound out of using the Kefar 3 Metas or the Triangles. 
I don't know, there's just something about these speakers that are really special. It's probably the way they're constructed. Um, you know, the cabinet's very good with it. I think it's a good choice with the soft dome tweeter and this uh, glass woven uh, mid-range uh, woofer. It's just unbelievable, these speakers. They found some magic here. And if these are their entry-level speakers, like these are the cheapest bookshelves that they make, I can't imagine what like the other ones sound like in within the audio physics line. They have higher end models uh, in there. They have, you know, obviously bigger. Uh, they have floor standards going up in the classic threes. I'd love to hear those. And, you know, perhaps I'll take a set of those and try those out as well, because I really enjoyed my time with these speakers. The only negative I have with it is really, you know, the looks, you know, are kind of there. You know, it's kind of just a bookshelf speaker. It's not, uh, you know, too flashy or anything. It's not going to win any aesthetic awards, I don't think. They are very well made, and I do like the color. They look great. Um, but they're not anything revolutionary, I think. Uh, these pegs sticking out of these things don't look the best either. Um, next time these guys update these speakers, they better put magnetic grills on it. It really needs that. It would just allow for a more cleaner look. Uh, to me and really finish it off just a little bit better. So, I mean, you can cover up these uh, speakers, put the grills on. I always like, you know, not not having that on there and just, you know, seeing the speakers the way it is right now. But those pegs, it's a little bit kind of, uh, a little bit cringy. But I think that's really the only, the only real negative I have of these speakers. So, you know, uh, anyways, that's about all I have to say about these speakers. They're just a really great all-around speaker sound that are great with all kinds of music and uh, it could be the last speaker that you ever need uh, so that's it what do you think guys of these review of the audio physics classic three speakers uh, give me some comments and likes down below it really helps channel really helps it grow once again thanks to altitude o audio for boring me these speakers for the last couple of months and uh, i'm going to go back there this weekend and see uh, what other speakers i'd like to review and maybe some other equipment and uh, that's it for now have a great day everyone we'll see you on the next video take care Thank you.